So I think it's about time we do an updated version to this video. Why? Because things change, people. And there's a ship on this list that wasn't on this list before. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so yes, we're gonna do this again. And I told myself the only way I would make this video over again is if enough spots changed on the list. And well, pretty much the whole list is changed. So I would say it's warranted to make the video again. And plus, it gives me a chance to talk about my favorite ships all over again. And let's face it, I love talking about my favorite ships. And because a new ship is on the list, that also means I had to take one of my favorite ships off the list. I wasn't particularly too thrilled about that part, but sometimes tough decisions have to be made. So let's stop babbling and go ahead and get into my number five favorite ship. Maybe as a mortal I can experience something I never could as a god. Like what? Like you. You never give up, do you? You know, I just couldn't find it within me to take this ship off my list. Xena and Ares will always have a very, very special place in my heart. Out of all of the ships on this list, this is the one that probably never had a real chance of happening, and I'd go as far as to say they probably shouldn't have happened. But that doesn't make what they had any less special to me. You wanna talk about chemistry? You wanna talk about burning passion in almost every scene? Xena and Ares is like that ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that you know is bad for you and you know you have no business even looking in their direction, but you just can't help yourself because even though you know you shouldn't, you still love them. And that's how I feel about Xena and Ares. But even though I am a Xena and Ares shipper, I'm not blind. I know Xena's real partner and soulmate is Gabrielle. But Xena and Ares still shared something very special. And I still think Xena had a lot of love for Ares deep down. But Ares was bad for Xena, and that was never gonna change. Now let's talk about my fourth favorite ship of all time. Maya, why do you make fun of me? Because you're easy to make fun of. Okay, then stop. Because you're a huckleberry, because you're a ranger. Would you stop? Look, if I had feelings for you, don't you think I'd just come right out and say it? Well, I don't, so what I do say is ha ha. Now, I've talked about this ship probably more than any other ship on my channel. Well, not probably, definitely. There is nothing I can say about this ship that I haven't already said a million times, but I'm gonna say it again anyways. Lucaya is the reason that I even started loving Girl Meets World in the first place. I've said this before, but before Lucaya, I only liked Girl Meets World. I thought it was a decent show, but once Lucaya came into the mix, that's when my love for the show skyrocketed. Lucaya is one of those ships that whether they're canon or not, whether they're together or not, none of that really matters. I mean, don't get me wrong, it definitely matters, but it doesn't matter. Allow me to explain. Regardless of Lucaya's relationship status, they always share the same chemistry and magic on screen. It doesn't matter what the writers tell them to say. You can't hide the chemistry. It's just too strong. And regardless on if Lucaya actually becomes canon or not, this is the ship that will always be remembered when it comes to Girl Meets World. This is the one people will be talking about years from now. In game or not, Lucaya will always be one of my favorite ships of all time. So now let's talk about my third 
favorite ship of all time. What are we doing? I don't know, I mean, we did break up for a reason, right? Yeah, we did. And that reason was... So we could get back together. Corpanga, Corpanga, Corpanga. Corpanga is one of the few ships that used to keep me up at night because I've always wanted a relationship just like these two. I've always wanted a relationship this special and pure. For the longest time, I was jealous of Corpanga. I was jealous of Corey, even on television. How could anyone have a girl that wonderful? It's not fair. And although Kripanga might have lost some of their chemistry, well, a lot of their chemistry in Girl Meets World, I'm not gonna let that ruin the image of Corpanga in my mind. Because Cory and Topanga were something really special in Boy Meets World. The chemistry, the story, even though some may argue the story was a little bit of a fairy tale, and I would agree with that to a certain extent, but Corpanga is still that relationship that everyone would love to have even if it is a little bit far-fetched but that's what makes Corpanga so special because finding that kind of relationship is rare but it does happen and I still say that everyone deserves their own Topanga or their own Cory. I don't think Corpanga will ever make their way out of my top five they're just far far too special so now let's talk about my second favorite ship of all time. Pray, no need to speak. Now I'm on the road and it's breaking over me. Don't Now, if you've been following me on social media, this shouldn't be a surprise to you. And if you're not following me on social media, what is your problem? You want to talk about having a great story? Arguably, no ship on this list has a better story than Delena. I mean, just the way they started off the journey i mean nothing about delana is fairy tales and sunshine some may argue that this relationship was even toxic and you might even have a point but to me that just makes it a little bit more realistic because no relationship is perfect in fact most relationships are far from perfect and i love how delana ended up together even when it looked like it was no chance in hell that would happen this is the only ship on this list where one of the people involved lost their memory fell out of love and then fell in love all over again if that isn't special i don't know what is and delena probably has the most heartwarming felt scenes out of any other ship on this list is delena perfect no are they destined to be together forever maybe maybe not is their relationship a little bit toxic probably but are they special and amazing do they have one of the best stories of all time and are they deserving to be the number two spot on my top five list oh hell yeah and you know you have to be a special ship to bump Corpanga down a notch. But Delena is only one of two ships that I can really almost never watch without feeling some really, really strong emotions. Whether that's anger, sadness, happiness, I just can't watch Delena without feeling some kind of way. So who could my number one favorite ship of all time be? Who could it be? Who is my number one favorite? Smurf, shut up. We all know it's Klexa. Well then, excuse me. 
You think our ways are harsh, but it's how we survive. Maybe life should be about more than just surviving. Don't we deserve better than that? Maybe we do. Was there ever any doubts? Listen guys, as much as I talk up my other favorite ships of all time, and as much as I love those ships to death, take everything I said about those ships and times it by at least two. And that's me being modest. And that's what Klexa is to me. You want to talk about special? Special should talk about Klexa. You want to talk about chemistry? You want to talk about a great story? You want to talk about an amazing ship? It gets no better than Klexa. And this is another ship that I've talked about so much on my channel. And I've described my feelings on Klexa multiple times. So why do I keep talking about Klexa so much? Not only on my YouTube, but on all of my social media. Well, not only because they deserve that attention, but because I literally can't help myself. I get Klexa urges constantly. I get it so much to the point that I'm pretty sure this should be like a new medical condition because I'm pretty sure this isn't normal. I literally have to force myself to not look at Klexa related things because I know if I do, I'm not gonna be able to stop until I watch every single Klexa clip. Which is why the only time that I ever watch anything Klexa related is when I know I have at least a few hours to spare. Otherwise, I'm not doing it because I've tried to only watch a few minutes at a time and I've failed every single time. It's just not possible with me. Klexa warms my heart in ways that no other ship probably ever will. And that's saying a lot, especially with Delana and Corpanga on this list. And some of you guys still don't understand. When I talk up Klexa so much, and I make it seem so much better than these other ships, it's not because those other ships aren't special. It's just because Klexa is that special. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. It's just not fair to compare any ship to Klexa. In order to make this list fair, Delena would probably be number one and Klexa would be on a separate list all on its own because no ship is worthy of even being anywhere near it. Klexa is in a league of its own. Klexa has that kind of magic that you can't write down on paper. You can't script it. You have to just watch it and let the magic speak for itself. I would call Klexa a rare gem, but that just wouldn't be true because that indicates that there are other ones of its kind. And that's just simply not the case. Klexa truly is one of a kind. And I am so thankful and so grateful to be able to say that I experienced this ship. But I'm done talking. Let me know what your top five favorite ships are of all time in the comment section below. And if you're interested in supporting my channel so I can make many more videos for you guys going forward, check out that Patreon link in the description box. But I'm done talking. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.